Hi! Welcome to Virtual CP1A. This is Mom Rena, and this is Week 1, Lecture 1 of Mathematics, Science, and Technology. Today, we are going to discuss all about number sets. Let's start with the learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to know the different sets of numbers and classify numbers according to their sets. Numbers are everywhere, and it is inevitable to perform mathematics. This course will start with a review of basic mathematics, and it is assumed that students already have the fundamental knowledge of performing elementary algebra. In this course, we will focus on mathematical operations, tools, ideas, and principles essential in solving problems in science and technology. So let's start with a discussion of sets of numbers. The different sets of numbers are the set of natural counting numbers, the set of whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, and a set of real numbers. Let's start with a set of natural counting numbers. For the set of natural counting numbers, this consists of positive integers, and it is denoted by capital N. That is, the set of natural counting numbers begins with 1, followed by 2, next will be 3, 4, and so on and so forth. So the numbers that you use in counting falls under the natural counting numbers. You have to take note, there are no half values or fractions. Next, let's go to the set of whole numbers. The set of whole numbers is almost similar with the set of natural counting numbers. This set consists of positive integers but with the inclusion of zero. So the set of natural counting numbers is inside the set. This set is denoted by capital W and it starts with zero followed by one, two, three, four, and so on. Now, now, Let's go to the set of integers. This is the set of positive and negative numbers, including zero. So the set of natural counting number and the set of whole numbers are all included in the set of integers with the addition of negative numbers. And this is denoted by capital Z. Now, let's go to the set of rational numbers. The set of rational numbers is denoted by Q. It consists of numbers that can be expressed in the form A over B, or fractions, where A and B are integers and B is non-zero. You have to remember that B should be non-zero because division by zero is not allowed. They can be expressed either as fractions or decimals. The decimal values either terminate or repeat. In set builder notation, it is represented by Q is equal to A over B such that a and B are both integers, and B is non-zero. Let's have some examples. Common examples are one-half, three-fourths, five over six, and everything that can be represented by fractions. Also, decimal values such as 1.25, 2.75, 2.25, 2.1, 
5.7, that repeats, or 4.252525. Those with repeating patterns are all members of the set of rational numbers. Now, let's discuss the set of irrational numbers. This consists of any non-terminating or non-repeating decimals, those that do not have any patterns. Irrational numbers cannot be written using a finite number of digits. This is represented by this symbol, capital Q with prime or an almost similar symbol to apostrophe. So this is read as Q inverse or simply the set of irrational numbers. So this is represented by the set of all x such that x is a real number but x is not a rational number. Okay. Let's have some example. If you encounter a number that do not have any pattern in it, such as this one, this will be considered as an irrational number. There is no pattern and it does not terminate. Also, a very popular irrational number is the mathematical constant pi. Can you give me the exact value of pi? Some of you will answer 3.14. Some of you will go for 14, 16. Some of you will answer 3.14, 15, 9, 2, 6, 5. But you have to take note that these values are all approximations. So... There are values after this last digit 5. Pi is a mathematical constant that do not terminate and do not have any repeating patterns in it. So I hope that it is clear up to this point. Now, let's discuss the set of real numbers. Earlier, we found out that the set of natural counting numbers is contained in the set of whole numbers. And the set of whole numbers can also be found inside the set of integers. And the whole set of integers is included in the set of rational numbers. And everything that is not included in the set of rational numbers can be found in the set of irrational numbers. Let's combine all of those sets. You are going to come up with a set of real numbers. This is the set of rational and irrational numbers combined. And this is often denoted by capital R. So, let's review. The set of natural counting numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, like values 26, 37, 19, all of these are included in the set of natural counting numbers. And also, there are a part of the set of whole numbers with the addition of zero. So all of the values contained in this set natural counting numbers are also whole numbers. So the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 26, 19, 37, these are all natural counting numbers and whole numbers at the same time. Now, let's go to the set of integers. All the values inside the set of natural counting numbers and whole numbers are also inside the set of integers with the addition 
of negative integers like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, uh, negative 5, negative 7, negative 26, negative 37, negative 41. So all of these numbers are integers. Now, let's go to an even bigger set. The set of rational numbers denoted by Q. So all of the numbers inside the natural counting numbers, which are also whole numbers and integers at the same time, are all inside the rational set. With the addition of values in decimal and fraction form, like negative one-half, three-fourth, 1.25, negative 2.7, um, negative 4.1, 100.36, and everything that has repeating patterns, such as 1.66666, negative 2.717171, and so on and so forth. So all of these values are rational numbers. And everything that you cannot find in the set of rational numbers can be found in the set of irrational, num irrational numbers. So some examples are pi and every number that do not terminate or repeat. For example, 1.3674198, which will continue up to the infinity. Next, we have square root of 2 or square root of 5. So those uh, values that do not repeat or terminate are all up included in the set of irrational numbers. And if we combine... These two sets, the set of rational numbers and the set of irrational numbers, we are going to come up with the set of real numbers R. Okay, that will be it for our discussion for today. Thank you for watching this video and please wait for lecture number two. See you next time. Bye!